exams are coming up, which means it's peak season for procrastination. So we figured, why not make a YouTube channel? I'm Simon. I'm Amun. Welcome to Applied Procrastination. Fetch is a very fluid display we started researching and building about a year ago. Our plan forward now is to release weekly video updates on this project until it's complete, hopefully covering all aspects on how to make a massive electromagnet matrix that can control ferrofluid. We'll try to keep technical details at a minimum in order to keep the videos interesting, but please throw all questions at us, we'd, we'd love to answer them. Our initial plan was to release an instructable about the process, but as the project made progress we realized we had way too much material for an instructable, so now we're making YouTube videos. <laughs> Therefore, this and the next video will contain footage that was taken before we decided to create YouTube videos. So now let's get you up to speed on the project. The first thing we did was to verify that we could even control electromagnets with an Arduino. At this point we only had a container with cheap old ferrofluid. More like a ferro solid, am I right? Yeah, this old bugger had completely degraded before the tests, which made it hard to work with. We couldn't even lift it vertically because it was so dense. Next, we had to figure out how to contain ferrofluid in a transparent tank that would not be stained. We had this idea that the problem could be solved with commercial off-the-shelf components. So we acquired a window, drilled a hole in it and filled it with vinegar to see if it was waterproof and to remove impurities from the surface. It was waterproof, but what we hadn't thought about was that the aluminum strip inside would rust, so we had to abandon this approach and make the tank from scratch. In the meantime, we received the ferrofluid we had ordered, and with it came a small demo which we could use to retest our Arduino control circuitry. Now it actually worked! The next step was to experiment with how we could suspend ferrofluid and saltwater brine. We barely have any footage from the time we spent experimenting with this, but we have a dedicated video of our final approach that's going live in two weeks. We won't keep any secrets. We were still uncertain about whether our tank would become stained by the ferrofluid, so as a first step we made a smaller version. We designed the small version to fit the 6x6 electromagnet grid so we could use it as a proof of concept. But first, we had to play around with it. We weren't sure what kind of pattern we wanted to place the magnets in, so we tried out a few options that we wanted to test. A square pattern would be the easiest to implement and work with, but we felt that we should minimize the area towards the ferrofluid tank that is not covered by magnets, so we tested a hexagonal pattern first. For a number of reasons, the hexagonal pattern increased the complexity of our design to such an extent that we decided to go for the simple approach instead. We 
put all this in place, we CNC'd an aluminum plate to mount the magnets on, and we finally had our prototype ready for testing. We had a problem though, the electronics control circuit was huge, even for a prototype alone. For the full-scale version, we would need 10 times as much control logic, so it was obvious that we needed a new solution. At this point, we had just learned about the surface mount driver control circuit, which sounded perfect for the job, but we were uncertain if they could handle the amount of current needed for driving all our magnets at once, so we did a test. The drivers worked exactly as we wanted them to. So for the full-scale fetch, we could design printed circuit boards that were way smaller than in the prototype. That's some of the most important milestones from the first year of our project, but we probably forgot something or left it out because we didn't have footage. So if you have questions, drop them in the comment section, we'll be happy to answer. And if you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing to our channel. We got some awesome videos planned out for the future. Next week we'll play around with some weird magnets called polymagnets that have a customized magnetic field. And we'll see how they interact with ferrofluid. In the meantime, happy, happy procrastinating! procrastinating.